welcome back to my channel this is kinky chick no lie and also i want to give a warm welcome to all my new subscribers so let's get into this band to knot okay so first i'm starting off on freshly washed hair i use the sealy creations mega moisture collection uh, it has a sulfate free shampoo conditioner deep conditioner herbal oil and a mango uh, leave-in Okay, right here I am doing the tension method to blow dry my hair. So that's basically kind of pulling your hair tight and straight. Not too tight, but keeping it straight while you're drying it. That way it prevents kinks. And right here, I'm using my Tangle Teaser Detangling Brush to just make sure my hair is smooth as possible and there's no knots that maybe I have missed. My hair feels super soft and lightweight after using that Mega Morsa collection. The link will be below if you guys are interested and it does have free shipping on it. So I started this very late, so I'm going to actually install the Bantu knots tomorrow. So for tonight, I'm just going to put it in a top knot bun and go to sleep. Right here, I am just trying to motivate myself, y'all, because I really don't feel like doing it. But I promise you this band took night out, so here we go. Okay, so here I'm gonna work with left and right sides. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're not leaving the Bantu knots in. So if you wanted to leave them in, which is an option, you might wanna make your parts a little neater. For what I'm doing, the Bantu knot out, I don't really need my parts super clean. I'm gonna take like medium size uh, sections and work with those one at a time. We're only gonna use two products to achieve this Bantu knot out, which is the Mango Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And I'm gonna use the Herbal Blend Growth Oil, both from Acela Creations. You'll see that in a minute. 
Um, I had a subscriber comment below uh, on one of my videos saying that I shouldn't use oil when I'm doing like Bantu knot outs, but I don't agree with that. I don't believe it's going to wear my weigh my hair down and we'll check it out and see at the end though. What I did with this Bantu knot was twist it at the root away from the front of my face. So I twisted the hair back towards the back of my head, if that helps or makes sense. Make sure you apply more of the mango leave-in conditioner to the ends of your hair as well. Side note, I am not using that much mango leave-in um, or oil, okay? We're not trying to revert our hair back. We want it to stay straight and make sure that the drying process isn't long, okay? To be fully transparent, I did not know how this style was gonna come out. I haven't done it in years. But when I first began to transition from relaxed to natural hair, it was the first hairstyle that I could do because it's really a simple hairstyle. And I'm not a type of person that really know how to do a lot of hairstyles. You know, like some of these YouTubers and content creators, I wish I had skills like they did, but I don't, so I can do what I can do. And this was the first style that I was able to do when I began to go natural. To create the Bantu knot, you want to twist your hair at the root. Not super, super tight. Uh, like some of mine are, I can see now I did them too tight, but I'll tell you what happened after that. But anyway, the Bantu knot, you twisting, you twisting. And every time you go around, you do that 360 degree around the root of the base, you're gonna wrap underneath. So every time you go around, you're trying to go underneath the hair that's already laid, if that makes sense. The Bantu hairstyle was created by women in the Bantu tribe in Africa. Fun fact about me, I have a company called Acili Creations where I create plant-based hair and skin care products for healthy hair and skin. And initially I was going to name my company Natural Creations, but I wanted to like, you know, zhuzh it up. I wanted something a little less dull. And I went back to the hairstyle, the Bantu knot hairstyle that I had just learned when I began transitioning and did a little research and found out that the women in the Bantu tribe created that hairstyle and they speak Swahili. So then I thought, well, how would these women say natural in their language? And it is Asili. So instead of going with natural creations, I have Asili creations, kind of paying homage to my ancestors over in Africa. I'm very proud of it. Okay, here's a better view of me twisting the hair at the root. So what I would do is kind of twist about a third of the way down the length of my hair, and then I would start wrapping it around the base of itself.
Okay, here I'm putting the last Bantu knot in. And if you wanted to, you can actually stop here and rock your hair like this because this is a beautiful hairstyle. And I actually wore it like this for the rest of the day. Yes, you read that right. Two days later. That was not the plan. A whole lot happened. An ER visit, a date night that wasn't planned, and then the Bantu knots was too tight, so I had to unravel them. So honestly, I don't even know what's under this cap right now, but we're going to get back to it. So let's go. Okay, at this point, I feel it's a total fail, but I'm gonna keep moving forward and try to see if I can salvage something out of this hairstyle. It is what it is, so let's just keep it moving. So as you saw, before I started to take the Bantu knots down, I coated my hands and my fingertips with some more Herbal Blend Growth Oil because that will decrease the amount of friction and frizz that you get. So when I take it down, I'm actually separating my hair where it feels like it naturally wants to separate. And then I'm going to twist at the end to give it back the curl. Even though I had my bonnet on, it did uh, like get some frizz under there. I don't even know how. And then the curls kind of elongated because I took them out because they were too tight. I just couldn't sleep like that. So we just want to just keep unraveling them and see what we can get. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this one, but I didn't like the way it came out. It just looks a little frizzy, but it's okay. We're just going to make do with this, all right? Even though I feel the universe didn't want me to do this hairstyle or make this YouTube video, I still think my hair is coming out pretty cute at this point. It's really soft, it's moisturized, it's shiny, uh, and it's defined. So the Mango Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream did two things. It acted as my leave-in and my styler because the curls are really pretty and they're really defined. And the oil, as you can see, did not weigh my hair down because my hair is light and fluffy. And why not use a herbal oil that has the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals to feed your hair follicles at the same time? Uh, yeah.
I'm using a wide tooth comb here to fluff up my roots to give me a little bit more volume, but I'm not trying to disturb too many of the curls, just the roots here. Yes, see, look how light and fluffy my hair is. Way down where, sis? So here I am going to put some up because the front curls are kind of too loose for me. I'm just playing around to see how they look uh, with the clip. But at this point, I'm liking it actually. I'm liking the way the curls are coming out and I'm gonna take the clip off later and just put some bobby pins in and wear it like this for today. But I think it came out cute. I don't think it's too bad here. Okay guys, so this is the final look of my Bantu Knot out. I'm really liking it, even though we had some pitfalls. I believe it really still came out cute overall and I'll definitely be redoing it because uh, it's a simple hairstyle and it's quick and it's easy and anybody can do it. But thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below and tell me what you think, okay? I love you guys. See you next time in the next video. Bye.